Welcome to the French Drayman channel. I'm Robert Sherwood, your host, and I want to talk about what we do in cases where we have to run any drainage. I don't care what you're dewatering, whether it's a sump pump system, whether it's a roof runoff system, whether it's a French drain, whether it's a yard drain. What do you do? when you're going to be driving over top of your drainage system. So I'm going to show you a sump pump discharge line ran in the same trench as a roof runoff system. The guys did a fantastic job. We have a six inch pipe for the sump. And then we have a four inch pipe off of just one of the downspouts in the front of this home. We have many downspouts. We have a six inch trunk line that all those four inch pipes are going to tie into. We're going to take that water all the way down to the swell at the road. So you're going to see Chris and Francisco working on a tie in. I'm going to show you guys how they're going to tie in a four inch pipe into a six inch trunk line. And then Valente, he's preparing all the D boxes. Right now, he's getting all the gaskets cut to size, getting them ready to fit. This is great when you have a team. Everybody has a job, everybody knows their job. So the guys took a six inch Y and they had to put a reducer to get down to the four inch, but they had to cut a piece of six inch pipe and put it in the Y to get the reducer, a four to six reducer to fit. We had plenty of room. They were able to dig with ease right here. Nice big hole, super, you know, DIY friendly when you do something like this. Now, if it was really tight quarters, we have a dual wall special fitting that goes from six inch to four inch and they would have used that. So Chris is feeding the six inch pipe to Francisco. You can just see how big this Boffman tile, virgin yellow, six inch pipe is. Look at the size of that. You can just see how big it looks, even in the hands of a big guy like Chris. Check that out. That is some serious stuff. So we took a four inch roof runoff system that ran to a main six inch line. Everything was tied to it. And then we took a sump pump discharge line that's very active. And we ran that in six inch the whole length of the way. I'm going to show you all the details so that you guys know what to do in these cases. I'm going to show you how to prep this before you do concrete or brick pavers. And perhaps you're going to leave it stone. So this is a D box and Valente's getting it ready for the six inch pipe that's going to come down here. There's a couple different tricks when it comes to these D boxes, those 12 by 12s, they take a six inch pipe. That's what's nice. And not every D box does a D box stands for distribution box. All right. So we have our six inch. Look at that a big six inch virgin yellow for some pump discharge we have some four inch that runs to the six inch main for the roof runoff now chris is going to backfill this we're going to talk about this this is really important make sure you do this right no big giant rocks don't do that make sure that you pick out any real big rocks you don't want like a point of a rock to push up against the pipe probably wouldn't have a chance to even you know break won't break the pipe, that's for sure. That big six inch, you can see I put my fist in it just to show you how big it is. It's, You know, when you go from a four inch to a six inch pipe, oh yeah, by the way, I gotta give a shout out to AM Landscaping for getting us on this job. These guys, they were gonna brick pave this massive driveway. They did this beautiful patio and they told their customer about us. Wanna thank them very much for making us a part of this project and involving us. This is, by the way, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Beautiful estate home, beautiful property. Now you can see just how big that six inch coil was 
when Valente was rolling it across the grass, made him look small. Look at the roof on this house. Look at all the roof runoff we're catching. When you're catching a lot of roof runoff, I don't care if you just have two or three drops. You want to go to a six inch if it's a really big house. So we're not messing around. Francisco's over here. He's doing a really nice job grabbing up this sump pump discharge line. He's going to put our freeze protection here in the north. You have to build them with freeze protection. If for some reason the discharge end froze up, you want to make sure the water can find its way out of the basement. So even though it's not ideal to have it pour right there at the foundation, it's better than having the basement flood. So now you can see our two six inch pipes. I'm going to put the four inch by the six inch. Look, I stuck my fist in the four inch and, you know, just filled it. No problem. Look at the size difference. It's crazy. So when it, when you talk about six inch versus four, you think, oh, it's only two inches difference, but let's look at the size of that pipe. So no doubt we're going to do everything in six inch on this house. And we have more videos to show you, of course, because we did 600 feet of French drain. We got two pumps in the back in the patio, the pit patio. Yeah, there was a lot going on here. It was a really fun job. And I, again, just got to give a shout out to AM Landscaping for bringing us in on it and trusting us with their client. And we definitely didn't hold them up. They called us, showed us the flood, the flood pictures. The home literally took on a lot of water inside the basement. It was pretty bad. We did an emergency call. We're there for a day. Got back there a week later to get all this ran so we didn't slow up the brick paving process. So we work very, very well with all contractors. So notice how the guys put dirt just in spots. They shovel dirt to hold down the pipe because you don't want to be pushing dirt in with the track hoe like Francisco is and then have the pipes shift all over the place. Sometimes the dirt would fall and then fall down the side of the trench and under the pipe, pushing it up. That's going to create an issue. You're going to end up with a belly in the pipe when that happens. So Chris and Valente, they shoveled a lot of dirt over top of the pipes in certain areas. And that's just to hold it secure so it doesn't move. Notice how Francisco's able to drive the track hole on top of these two six-inch pipes and pack in all this dirt. That's exactly what Chris did when he was working that ditch switch back and forth, packing the dirt in. You don't have to worry about it when you're using the Boffman Tile Company's Virgin Yellow 6-inch. There's nothing in the world stronger than the 6-inch single wall virgin pipe that Boffman Tile Company manufactures. If you're going to be driving on it, Make sure it's the 6-inch single wall Boffman tile. All right, everybody. Until that next video.